Hello everyone, um, this is a lesson on surface area. We're going to look at two shapes. We're going to look at a rectangular prism and a cylinder. Okay, now before we start with our lesson, I want to explain to you what is a surface area. Number one, it's a three-dimensional shape. It means it's something like this box. It's something that you can hold. It's a three-dimensional. It's not a two-dimensional like a rectangle, a triangle, a square, a flat thing. No, it's not. It's a three-dimensional. So, surface area, surface, the outside part of the three-dimensional shape. So, it will be this part, that part, that one, that one, that one, and the bottom one. But something with this one is a rectangular prism. It's made up of rectangles. That's why it's called a rectangular prism. So, you have this rectangle here, and the area of a rectangle is length, length times breadth. But when you look at this rectangle, it's the same like the bottom one. And when you look at this one, it's the same as that one. This one is the same as that one. So, a rectangular prism is made up of rectangles, and the rectangles are, will be the same. So, let's look at an example. Right? In our example, I've drawn a rectangular prism. Now, you have this rectangle, which will be the same as that one. You'll have that one. Now, let's start with this one. Do you see this rectangle? It has a length, which is 8 meters, and a breadth. And my breadth is 1,500 centimeters. Now you see, the units are not the same. You have to convert it so that everything is in the same unit. In your question paper, they will say, answer the question in centimeters. Then it means you must convert that to centimeters. Or they will say, answer um, your answer must be given in meters. Then it means we must convert this to meters. So we're going to start with that. You must, before you start calculating any shape, you need to have the same units for, for the shape. So we're going to start by converting the centimeters to meters. Right. Will you remember this tool that we use to convert in our video? Converting measurement, we have it. You remember when you have we are converting, we're converting centimeters to meters. We are going from a smaller one to a bigger one. We're going back. So we're gonna divide by 100 from this one to that one, divide by 100. So we have 1500 centimeters divided by 100. It's gonna be 15 meters. Punch that in your calculator. Don't think you can do it. Then you get your 15 meters. Now, this one is the same as 15 meters. So, this length there is 15 meters. This one is 8, and that one is 3 meters. So, let's do the surface area for this rectangular prism. Now, when we calculate the surface area, remember it's the outside part. We shorten it as surface area. Surface area is equal to. So, for this rectangular prism, we have these two, this one which is equal to that one at the back, this one. So, because they are exactly the same and they are two, and do you see the shape, they are rectangles. So, it's two times, rectangle is length times breadth. So, when I'm looking at this, this one, this one, this one, this is in front. What is my length? My length is this one. It's 15 meters, and my breadth is 8. So, it's 15 times 8. But because we have two of them, that's why we have a two there. You remember from my box that you have the one that is this side and the one that was exactly the same. So we're going to go now to this one and that one. It's this one and that one. They're exactly the same also. We're going to add them. Add two. And then for the blue one, this and that. So this is three meters. Three times that one is eight meters. Plus, let's look at the last one. Is the top one and the bottom one. Both, they are two. So we have two times the top one. This one, it's 15 and three. So it's 15 times three. And then we're going to take a calculator now and punch everything in our calculator. The first one is 2 times 15 times 8. Then it's a plus. 2 times 3 times 8. Then plus 2 times 15 times 3. And then your surface area is 373. 378 meter squared. You remember you had meters here. You're calculating using meters. When you calculate the area is squared. So the surface area is area. is the outside part of the, is the area. So the unit is squared. Please 
don't square the number square the units so you're not supposed to write the two here it's supposed to write it in the units let's do the circumference right a cylinder is something like this one is where you have a round thing like a can and then you have a top and a bottom now when you look at this top it's a second and it's the same as the one at the bottom that's your second right the outside part here is actually a rectangle let me use a page so that you can see it a cylinder is like that so you have this second and that second nicely like now if you cut it open it becomes a rectangle so when you do the surface area you have two shapes you have the circle this circle and that circle and this part when you open it it becomes a rectangle so we're going to use um, the formula surface area is equals to two circles what is the formula for the area of a circle it's pi pi is just the number r multiplied by radius squared plus the rectangle that we have the rectangle do you see here on top there on top of the rectangle is the circumference of the circle the circumference is the outside part of the circle is the outside part of the circle so if i open it like that this is the outside part of the circle and then this will be my height what is the formula for the circumference the formula for the circumference is 2 pi r. And then we're going to multiply it with a height, with an h. Height, right. Let's put the values there in the formula. Now let's start with pi. Pi will be given in your question paper. Pi is 3.14. They give it to you in your question paper so that you, you, you don't struggle. And then in Metz lead, they will give you the formula for calculating the surface area. You can just take the information. You just need to look at the particular question and look at those values that you're supposed to do our formula is 2 times pi is 3.14 multiplied by our radius they've given us our radius to be 2.9 but the radius is squared so you have to square the radius and then plus 2 pi for the circumference 3.14 our radius this one is not squared 2.9 and then we're gonna multiply it by our height we're given a height is 16.5, right? Then you take this information, you punch, punch it in your calculator correctly. After you have punched it, got your answer, check your answer, punch it again and make sure that it's correct. Right, our answer is 353,31 and our unit was in meters. So because it's surface area, it's units squared. This is how we calculate the surface area. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. Mm-hmm.